They called it a school. But what kind of school has a graveyard? The place I'm talking about is the Cooper Island Indian Residential School. It shut down in 1975, and the community of Penelicut wasted no time tearing it to the ground. But years later, when they started to examine the old school grounds, they discovered something else, something hidden and never meant to be found. I'm Duncan McHugh, and over the years I've reported a lot of stories about residential schools. I'd heard horrible things about the Cooper Island School. It operated for nearly a century on an isolated island off the coast of British Columbia, run by Catholics, funded by the Canadian government. This place was so notorious, it came to be known as Canada's Alcatraz. Who died? How did they die? Where are they buried? And why have their graves gone unmarked for so long? Those are questions neither the government nor the church has ever properly addressed. And now, I'm looking for answers. It's like a Stephen King book. It's like a badge room that will never go away. I have never seen such abject fear as what I saw in that child. And I have never seen such abject evil as what was in that man. Psychopaths and sociopaths raise children in a confined space. And that has everything to do with why children are missing and murdered. The clandestine burials are clandestine for a reason. The people who do the burying don't want anybody else to know about them. Cooper Island, available now, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. <laughs>